New Jersey Attorney General's office released new videos today showing the chaotic moments before police were forced to open fire on a driver on a backhoe. Action News reporter Bob Brooks has an update on that investigation, including the video of that destructive rampage. The video released today shows the driver of the backhoe ramming into police cars, running over and right into property. And the valiant efforts that lasted more than 30 minutes by the violent police to stop the 20 year old driver now identified as Joshua Gonzalez of Millville. It happened this past December and all starts with a phone call to 911. Yeah, a back came flying uh, in our parking lot and hit a car and then that car hit another car next park next to it. And then immediately officers were dispatched. It's on Lincoln Avenue, get out of the road. It was in the area of Lincoln Avenue near the Penn Lincoln developments. We see Gonzalez ram into two police vehicles. Six negative, it's my vehicle. 29 and a 26 have been totaled. Destroy an ambulance. Oh my God, that's the ambulance. And terrifying neighbors. Are you all right? No, I'm in shock. Then he drives into the Penn Lincoln development, and officers fear someone could be killed. He's going in the house, Jim. We got to do something now. From body cam footage, we watch several officers leave their cruisers and begin foot pursuit until the first on scene fires into the backhoe, fatally wounding Gonzalez. The backhoe then crashes into a tree and comes to a stop, and the officers were able to turn it off. The firing officer then shouts for Gonzalez to receive help. CPR! CPR. In total, officials say several homes and vehicles, including three police cars, an ambulance, and an occupied civilian vehicle were damaged. Now, Shari, during all of this, luckily no civilians were hurt. There were three of the responding officers who suffered minor injuries, but they're going to be okay. And as far as a cause for why this happened, that still remains under investigation. From our reporting in Vineland, Bob Brooks for Action News at 10 on PHL 17, Shari.